Hi there, Iman here with a new tip of the week. Our tip today it's still about Revit and we need to reorganize the schedule. We need to change the order of the columns, we need to add more data, and we need to get total areas for the rooms. To change the order, we need to come to properties, in fields, select edit. Now let me take the level to be the first so I will push it up, then number, up. After that we can put name, then area, perimeter, floor finish, and wall finish. Once you say OK, here we go. If you want to reorder based on numbers, so you can come to sorting and grouping, and from there, you can say sort by number, ascending or descending. I will keep ascending. I'll say, OK. All the numbers are based on the order of room placement that we are having here. So if I come to properties, if I selected reception, this is number one. You can change it for sure. Back to the schedule. What if you want to add floor finish for the rooms? If I come to ground floor and I selected something like the office and I want to make it wood. So in room properties, here you have the floor finish and here you can say wood. This is a way. Another way, let me go back to the shadow. Can you see? Wood is here. Maybe I need living room to have the same. So from here you can select wood. You can see that I added other uh, type of finishing like porcelain. So maybe I need the bedroom to be wood. I need the kitchen to be ceramic. I need the reception to be porcelain. Bedroom to be wood. Bathroom to be ceramic other bathroom to be ceramic and so on. This is a room that we didn't place. Let's see where is that room. You will not see it here, okay? Because each room here is having a name. So if you want to remove it, you can just right click here and you can delete it. And okay. Let me finish the finishing. So in utilities, I want that to be ceramic. For the storage area, it will be the same ceramic and here we go. Last step, I want to see each floor finish in a separate part, then I need to get the totals. And you can do that easy by selecting sorting and grouping. So if I come to edit here, I can say I need to sort by number, then I need to sort by floor finish and I need a header and a footer. For the footer also you have here the title, count and totals. If you say okay, here we go. But we don't need that to be that way. So I will go back to sorting and grouping. I can remove that to make it none. Then I can take that back to be floor finish because I don't want to use both number and floor finish. I'll use floor finish only, header and footer, title, count and totals. I'll say okay. Here we go. Now I need to have a total number for the area. So in formatting, I need the area to be calculated from here. Calculate totals. Once you say OK, here we go. This is the last part of the tip. I hope you enjoy it and see you in another tip of the week. Thank you. Mm -hmm.